Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I am back with another video. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today's video, we're going to be talking all about drugstore makeup, which we're pretty obsessed with it in this channel. You guys already know. So today I'm going to be reviewing this new Physicians Formula Baby Butter Box. I absolutely love the packaging and the colors. It just screams spring and summer to me and I am just ready for it. Um, it kind of matches like my background. I kind of tried it to match it. Hopefully I did good with that. But but anyways guys this little box right here retails for $15 and you do get a bunch of little mini sizes product and I do believe the lip balm or the lip gloss lipstick whatever it is you do get a full size of it so yeah that's what today's video is gonna be all about if you enjoyed this video please make sure you guys give me a thumbs up if you're new here you guys already know make sure you subscribe hit the little bell so you guys know every time I upload a new video so without further ado you guys let's just go ahead grab this little box and let's Let's review it. Hey you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clip my hair out of the way. Um, this clips right here, I get them from the Derm store. I'll have them linked below because a lot of you guys always ask me that question. So yeah guys, this is what it looks like right here. Like I said, I love the packaging. I'm actually getting ready to go to school. So we're gonna be doing a pretty natural beat today, which is perfectly fine because this palette or this box right here kind of screams that a natural, pretty look. We love, like I said, how you can remove them so you can get everything out and you can store them away. I hated those other boxes they created where you cannot take anything apart unless you like do it yourself, which I never do because I feel like I'm just gonna mess everything up. So I do like how you can can remove everything and you can throw the packaging away so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started with smelling this perfume right here i have actually never smelled it so i'm kind of excited this is called the butter paradise let's see you guys i love coconut Ooh, it also has like a little spray bottle right there i thought it was gonna be the ones like you have to go like this and pack it but you do get a little spray let's see let me spray it first Oh, it smells so good. I love coconut. This smells like summer. It smells just like the bronzer. This is just what it smells like. Let me smell my bronzer. A lot of people always ask me if I have tried this bronzer. I have. Sometimes it just looks really splotchy on my skin. I don't know why. So this is in the color deep bronzer, the one I usually have and use. And yeah, this smells just like it. Oh my god, I am upset. Okay, so you also get a blush which looks something like this. This is in the color Natural Glow. I am not really sure what's limited edition and what's not. I am not really a huge fan of the butter collection. Like I don't collect everything. So I wish it would say it here. It just says the whole box is limited edition. Like I was saying, we do get a blush in Natural Glow. It looks like a really pretty peachy type of color. I feel like that it does have a certain glow to it, which is why it's called Natural Glow. Kind of reminds me of the NARS Orgasm Blush. So we get that. We also get the Butter Bronzer, which everybody loves. Hopefully this color is going to be like the perfect match for me. Because that deep bronzer is sometimes gets too dark. So this is, like I said, in the bronzer shade. And it just looks like the perfect shade for me. Then we also get a really pretty highlighter in the shade Pearl. Um, this just looks like the typical whitish, goldish, pinkish shade. We'll see how it looks in our skin. I have actually never tried their blushes and also their highlighter and absolutely not their eyeshadow either because I lost the eyeshadow palette as well. So this is called Barefoot in Barefoot in Brazil and Sun Down. And you get like a really pretty matte shade for all over your eyes and then a really pretty golden shade that you could just this is just like a really natural collection that's what i noticed so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started because then i'm gonna be late for school i already moisturized my skin i usually always use the ole henriksen c brush brightening gel cream okay so i have my foundation right here i've been using this one a lot lately this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation i'm in the color 475 so i'm just gonna go ahead and shake this really well and apply just the pump right here or like half a pump and a half and apply it on my cheeks i do have a wear test when it comes to this foundation i'll have it somewhere here on the cards so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you haven't yet and then i'm just gonna blend it out with my wet and wild beauty sponge i absolutely love this beauty sponge i feel like it's like a really good dupe for the beauty blender a 
Okay, and then once we are done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Cashew. The reason I like this shade is because it's not too bright under my eye. I notice when I do a more natural look, I don't want something too brightening because then it's gonna look kind of scary because it's just there's just not too much happening in my skin for it to balance out. Hopefully that makes sense. So I just go in under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and just a little bit on my forehead. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the same beauty sponge and blend this out. And also another quick tip, if you're trying to do like a natural, natural bead, you know, everything is different when it comes to natural for everybody. For me, this is gonna be my natural look. Um, I also do not apply any to my eyelid because then it's just gonna look too makeup-y and it's just gonna look just just not right. Just trust me, don't do it, especially if you're doing a natural beat. So we are done with concealer and now it's time to move on to powder. I've been loving this CYO loose setting powder. This retails for only $5 and you guys, it's so good. It's so like finely milled, which is perfect. I think that's how you say it, finely milled, which is, you know, I hear words sometimes that other people use and I try to use them, but the thing is, I do not know how to pronounce them, but it's just super fine and just looks really nice under the eye. So again, with that same beauty blender, I grab just a little bit and I do not bake, I do not do any of that, especially on my natural days. So I'm just pretty much just gonna set it right here, apply a little bit on my eyelid since we are gonna apply in shadow. And we can't forget the forehead and the mouth area. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to be using the LA Girl Pro Face Nude Beige Powder. I love the coverage, you guys, no matter what day it is. So I'm just going to apply it right here on my cheeks. I cannot be those really pretty girls and pretty guys that can go on with just like a BB cream and they're good to go. Like, I cannot do that. Um, so I need to do the steps and trust me, it's gonna look natural at the end of the day So we're gonna move on to the bronzer and actually try the whole butter collection I honestly love how they did this different this time and you can actually take the packaging Look at this. How cute does this look? I absolutely love the whole concept. I'm using the JH04 brush tap X's Oh, this is a really pretty color And if you guys have never tried the butter collection, it's not like a matte color, but it, 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 I don't know how to explain it. It's like really pretty on the skin. It kind of smooths out your skin. It smells really good and it also just blends really nice on your skin, especially this shade. Definitely, it's a really nice shade. If you're darker than me though, this kit is not gonna be for you. I wish they had like a light, medium, and dark, and then even deep color selection when it comes to the kit. But the only problem is it's only like a one shade fits all, which is honestly just not realistic anymore. Let's keep it honest. Okay, so here's my blush brush. This is the JH06 brush. And let's see how this applies. It does have some fallout to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe you can if you tap the X's. And let me apply this. Ooh, this is a really pretty everyday type of look. This is gonna be perfect for everybody who just likes to look more natural, have to go to school like me, um, works, something casual like that. You are gonna like this product because they just go on on the skin really beautiful. It smooths out your imperfection. They smell amazing and they're really inexpensive. We're gonna be using the Butter Pearl Highlighter. And I'm not sure if this is limited edition as well, but it's just like a really pretty, um, like, whitish, glitterish. I don't even know how to explain the color. So I'm just gonna grab my highlighting brush. This is the AOA Studio F19 brush. Only retails $1 and you can get it from Shop Miss A. So definitely go get your hands on it. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of highlighter because I don't really like using highlighter. Honestly, I don't really like that much highlighter in my skin, especially when I'm not wearing that much makeup. So I'm gonna try it right here first. Ooh, that's pretty. That's like some glitter to it some reflex to it we apply it to this side Ooh, can you guys see that makes your skin look a lot healthier which is why I, this is like something i have noticed about the products i've been using it just makes you look overall more healthy look at 
that glow, you guys. I'm like ready for the spring. I'm not emphasizing my texture, but it is a little bit too like, hmm, maybe too white for me. I don't really like this shade when it comes to my face, to be honest. I feel like this one, it's gonna be good for lighter skin tones. This is why I keep saying they should have done a light kit, a medium kit, then a tan, a dark, and then a deep, so everybody could have something to try out. They need to work on that. Maybe the next time they will do that. We're gonna be using this eyeshadow. Again, this is called Barefoot in Brazil and Sun down so i'm just gonna use an equal tools brush i've been using this one ever since i started doing my makeup and i love it especially when it comes to the matte colors like this so i'm just gonna grab that matte color and apply it all over my eyes just like so they're applying so creamy and so pretty it's super pigmented it does have some fallout to it so make sure you tap the excess off okay and then i'm just gonna be using my finger to apply this more golden shade and let's see what happens. Oh wow, that's actually really pretty and pigmented. Can you guys see that? Other type of colors, you just wanna go in with your finger and then go like that, apply some mascara and you're good to go. Let's see what happens if we wet. Let me just wet my finger. See, 10 times more pigmented. So with the shimmer shade, you do wanna use it a little bit wet. And it still looks amazing, you guys. Like I said, I'm just going to school, so I'm not trying to do the most. I'm just going to be using this Essence one. This is going to be the first time, you guys, that I'm not going to be using any lashes. So I literally just apply the tiniest bit of mascara because I noticed this mascara gets really clumpy. And I do not want that. So I'm just going to apply that right here. I need to buy a lash curler because I don't have one. Let me know in the comments below which eyelash curler should I get because I'm in desperate need of one. I'm just going to go ahead and do like my natural lip routine. So I'm grabbing the LA Girl Perfect Perception or Precision Lip Liner in the shade Cafe. And I'm just going to line my lips. And I always kind of overdraw my lips as well. This is just a really similar color to my lip, um, with my actual lip. All right, and then for the lip product today, we're gonna be using the one in the collection. I'm probably not gonna wear this one to school. I'm just a nude girl, and I know I keep telling myself not everybody can come up with just nude lip products, which is, I'm just like obsessed with them. So this one is called the Muru Muru. You guys, is that how you say it? Muru Muru. Jesus Christ, I don't even know. So this is in the color Be Bejos. Why can't they make the name simple for me to say? Do they know I cannot say anything? So now I'm just gonna grab the product and apply this. It's like an orange shade. Oh, this is actually not that pigmented. That's what it looks like on. I remember I bought one of these and it was like in a nude shade. I need to go rebuy it. It just looks like how your lips look after a lollipop or ice cream or something. It actually smells good as well. Really moisturizing, really shiny, really pretty. Hey guys, so that's pretty much all I have for today's video. This is the final look I created using the Physicians Formula Baby Butter Box. I have to go, you guys. This is also like my go-to college girl type of makeup look. I have to go to class. I always focus on the eyebrows, the skin, and then the eyes. I just do mascara and lip balm for the lips. So overall, you guys, this collection is super pretty. I like it, especially for the spring and summertime. I know those type of days we tend to wear less makeup because it's just too hot to keep up with the full beat face the only two things i didn't like is the highlighter i love the formula i love everything about it i just didn't like the color they picked i feel like they could have picked a more universal type of shade because this one is just too white and too harsh for my skin but the actual formula is beautiful and then the last thing i really just didn't like the color again it's just the color i love the formula of everything it's just the actual lip balm or the lipstick i don't like this kind of color it just looks too it's just not me you know i like the more type of i love the more nude type of effect when it comes to lip products like this because if I was going to do an orange lip, I'd rather it be matte. You know, that's just me though. 
So yeah guys, that's my opinion and my review on this little box. If you see it, definitely pick it up. You're not gonna regret it. Trust me on that one. And let me know what you guys think of this video. Like always, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your family members, friends, neighbor, ex-boyfriend, ex-friends, whatever the case might be. Make sure you guys share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you all go. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this video. I'm gonna go to class and I will see you guys very soon on my next one. Bye guys.